Hello, my creative friend. It is so wonderful to see you again. And if you're new here, hi, hello. My name's Alicia and I am a digital product creator and seller, predominantly on Etsy. Um, and my passion is to share the journey, share all of my tips and tricks so that you can start selling digital products on Etsy too. Now today you are in for a real treat as I'll be diving deep into the world of Notion templates, how you can start editing Notion templates and then start selling them on Etsy. Now in today's video, I'll be sharing with you and showing you demonstrations using my brand new Ultimate Life Planner Notion template. This Notion template has full resale rights, so you can go ahead and grab this template from my own online shop, edit it, customize it, and then go ahead and sell it in your own Etsy shop. So whether you are one of the fabulous community members that has already snagged this PLR Notion template, perhaps you're on the fence about it, you're not quite sure whether or not it's right for you, or maybe you're just curious about how you can customize a Notion template to sell on Etsy, well, this is the video for you. So before we get into the tutorial today and the how-tos, why Notion templates? What's the buzz? Well, using my new favorite go-to trend research tool, Insight Factory, I've been tracking the rise of these templates for a little while now, probably a few months, six months or more. And guess what? They are still selling like hotcakes. And considering they're a premium product, the price tag can reach up to 50 Australian dollars for a quality Notion template, just like the one I have available in my own online shop. And not only that, this time of the year, people are starting to get back into planning. They're thinking about the year ahead. Yes, already. So they're getting into planning and digital planning. So really now is the time to start creating those templates and getting them listed into your own online shop or your Etsy shop. But here's the catch. While using these PLR Notion templates is incredible, making them your own, well, that's where the real magic happens. Customizing ensures that your templates are going to stand out in the crowd. And don't be frightened or overwhelmed when you're using a high quality Notion template like the one I have for sale. Just a few small tweaks and changes can make a huge difference. And don't worry, I'll be walking through all of my best tips and strategies to customizing these templates in today's video. Okay, so I hope you're excited for that. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's go ahead and dive on into my computer where I'll share with you how you can start customizing the PLR Notion template that I have available in the online shop. Oh, and just one more thing. These tips that I'm going to share with you today don't just apply for the PLR Notion template that I sell. This can apply for any template that you have or that you purchase. OK, so I just wanted to make that clear. All right. How does that sound? Let's go ahead and jump on into my computer. All right, before we begin, let me just run through a few quick things. Okay, so before we start styling, let's ensure we're all set. So here are a few things you're going to need. First, you're going to need the PLR Ultimate Life Planner Notion template or any other resellable Notion template that you have. If you are still needing one of these, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below and it will send you over to my shop where you can check out the one I have available. Next is a Notion account, obviously. The free version is completely fine. Next, you're gonna need a basic grip on how to use Notion template. Just the basics is fine. And ideally a brand or mood board. Now, trust me, having that aesthetic mapped out beforehand is a real game changer. So if you can organize a mood brand or a board brand and base this on the type of customer that you want to uh, sell these Notion templates to, that is going to help out a lot. So if you feel like you've got these boxes checked, let's then go ahead and jump on into Notion and let me show you how to customize and edit the template and get it ready to sell on Etsy. Let's go. Okay, so when you open up your new PLR Notion template, whether or not you've purchased the one that I have in the, in the shop or whether you've purchased somebody else's or you've started from scratch, this is the screen that you are going to be presented with given, you know, what type of template you have. This might look a little bit different, but what you want to do when you first receive your template and open it up is you want to go ahead and create a duplicate. Just like I mentioned before, you want to make sure that you create a duplicate so that you've got a copy of it. And then you can go ahead and create more and more copies of that template, change up the style, the fonts, the colors, the images, 
um, and create a completely new product, but still using the bones and the, um, the pages within the planner itself. So in order to duplicate this template, all you need to do is go to the three dots here in the top right hand corner, click on that button, and then you're going to want to scroll down until you see the duplicate um, uh, tab. So go ahead and click that and then your Notion um, program will, or your Notion account will go ahead and duplicate that template. So go ahead and do that. It might take a couple of minutes because it is quite a large file. Um, and then once that's done, I'm going to share with you how you can start customizing the template. So as you can see here, I've got the original life planner uh, dashboard and now I've got the copied version, which just has the one here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And this is the one that we're going to edit. I'm going to label this one copy just so I know um, which one we'll be editing today. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, for now, we will hide this sidebar. So go ahead and click on that and that's going to hide the sidebar. Now let me run through this entire template with you so you have an idea of what is included, what you're getting, um, the quality of this template as well. And then I'm going to share with you um, a couple of the elements that you might want to customize um, to make this uniquely yours. Okay, so this is a seven section ultimate life planner template. It's pretty much an all in one template um, that includes everything your customer would need um, to organize everything, every part of their life, pretty much. The very first page here, this is the dashboard. So this is essentially the home page of your Notion template. We've got the label, so the title of the dashboard here. We've got the index here. And as you can see, we've got our seven different sections. We've got the planner section, the finance section, the self-care, lifestyle, productivity, nutrition, and life vision sections. Just below that, we have a fun little widget here with the time. Now this is all customizable. Um, even the color of this uh, timer, so this clock can be customized. I'll share with you how you can do that in just a moment. So within the main dashboard, we've got the to-do list here, daily routine, we've got start your day and start your week. We've got some essentials here, our daily affirmations, our daily goals this week, some progress tracker photos, which can all be edited and uh, changed, a body progress tracker here, We've got active projects, currently reading, currently watching, weekly expenses, weekly income, um, and so on and so forth. We've even got like a big calendar view here. If we scroll all the way to the top, let's head on over to the planner section to just check out and see what's available within this section here. So in this page, we've got again the index. So this will be found on every single page of this uh, template. So that way your customers can easily navigate through this um, entire dashboard. We've got the daily planner, so a link to the daily planner, weekly planner, monthly planner, and even the yearly reflection and planner as well. We've got a weekly planner and a calendar. If we go to the finance section now, we're going to have a whole range of different um, finance trackers and planners here. So we've got finance planners, so we've got the savings plan, financial goals, debt management, investment portfolio. We've got some trackers here that you can um, quickly and easily navigate to. So um, a lot of these things are doubled up in different sections or tripled up. Um, but the way it's laid out is to make it as easy and efficient as possible for your customers, um, you know, to plan their life. Okay. Within here, we've got our income tracker and our income stream. So a list of those. We've got our expenses, financial goals, the different categories of our finances. We've got bill trackers here, our active subscriptions and our inactive subscriptions, which we all should really be keeping track of, right? So we've got the um, our accounts, so our bank accounts here as well. These are listed. Okay, so um, the self-care section, this is really fun. So we've got our fitness goals here, our workout routine for the week. We've got a place to track our mood as well. We've got our workout library. So we've got um, all the different workouts that someone might want to keep um, track of. We've got our sleep tracker, our bedtime routine, our gratitude and positive thinking, medication tracker, symptoms tracker, um, so on and so forth. We've even got a hydration tracker here and even a vision board right at the bottom. Let's scroll all the way to the top. So that was self-care. Let's go ahead and have a look at lifestyle. This is where you can track things like your, the books that you're reading, the podcasts that you're listening to. So we've got reading list, book log here. 
the genre of the book or the the videos that you watch. We've got journal, movie lists, the movie genre, podcast list, podcast host that you follow or your customer will follow, travel and vision board and so and, and so forth. Let's go all the way up to the top. As you can see, lots of things to run through. We've got a productivity section. So this is like uh, where you're you know, going to keep track of all those productivity habits. So your habit tracker, you've got a learning hub as well, um, projects and tasks. We've got a main to-do list here and even um, today's tasks. We've got our habits here and then some unhealthy habits that you might want to get rid of. We've got a project hub, a project planner, meetings and a learning hub as well. Okay, so that's productivity. We've got nutrition. Here your customer can organize their meal plan for the week and also a meal calendar so they get an overview of the meals for the whole month. We've got a food journal, a grocery list and even a food log. And the final section is the life vision section. So this is where your customer would um, apply all of their different visions for their life. So we've got a vision board here. We've got a daily affirmation section, the theme. So depending on what type of theme you would like to uh, visualize, you can, uh, your customer can uh, access these sections here. Um, and life goals. So the long-term goals for their life and short-term goals for their life. There's also a monthly manifestation planner and even a personal SWOT analysis. So that is all the sections within this Notion template. Now, this Notion template has been co-created with a Notion expert. Everything has been thought out here. So all the different sections, the pages, the trackers, the to-do lists, everything has been designed in a way that it works with different pages and it's linked to different pages. So personally, I wouldn't recommend changing up the actual pages within this template try and keep them as they are to avoid any like mishaps or any links that don't work properly. The main point of doing this is to help you save time. If you can grab something like this and then all you need to do is just make a couple of customizations to fonts, colors, images, and a couple of widgets, you can create a completely new product and target your ideal customer without having to do all of that back end work to create something that works so magnificently as this Notion template does. Now let's go ahead and start customizing. So let's go ahead and go back to the main dashboard. So I'm gonna to go to the Life Planner copy at the top here. This is gonna take us to our main dashboard. And let me just point out a couple of things that you might want to customize. Firstly, the main thing that I would start with is all the banners within the pages of this template. So for the planner, finance, self-care, lifestyle, productivity, nutrition, and life, uh, vision, you're going to have a banner for each of those sections. So I would go ahead and change all of the banners within the sections to, you know, attract your ideal customer. Obviously, when your customer receives this, they may go ahead and change all of those banners anyway. But the point of changing them is for one to stand out amongst other people that are selling similar uh, products in your industry or on Etsy. And two, you want to actually design it in a way that will actually attract your ideal customer. This here is a very minimalist style. I've kept it very minimal so that you have a lot of freedom to change it up. But let's say that your ideal customer is studying fashion, right? There are ways that you could, you know, add imagery and colors into the actual template itself in order to attract an ideal customer that is studying fashion or wants to get into the career of fashion. Okay, so that's just something to think about. So the things that I would change are the banner, the icons here, or the icon colors themselves. You can change up the text if you like. You, would li you can label these anything you like. I would change text colors. I would change up the widgets here. The uh, section dividers you can change up. The background colors on some of these uh, tables can be changed. Obviously, depending on the ideal customer, you might want to go ahead and change these before and after photos. That might be a, a great way to customize the uh, this template. I would also think about perhaps changing up the uh, the font style. There's three different font styles that you can use. You can change these by just heading up to the three dots in the right hand corner, clicking on that. And here at the top, we've got the different styles. So we can have the default, default style, which is the sans serif 
style. You can have the serif style and also the mono style. So if we wanted to change all of the templates here within your account, you can go ahead and change it here by going to serif or going to mono. So you can see how the, the vibe of it just changes instantly just by doing something small like that. Let's go ahead to serif. I like that, very good. Okay, so that's the first change that you can make. Pretty simple. Let's talk about changing up your banners. So at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that you might wanna consider having a mood board or a brand board. And this mood or brand board would be directed at your ideal customer. You can go ahead and create a simple brand board by using something like Canva. I'm gonna share with you an example of what I have created that I'm gonna be using within this tutorial today. So let's hop on over to Canva. I'm just gonna open up the mood board. So here is a mood board example that I have created. I went ahead and grabbed some of the stock photos from one of my paid subscription. I am a member of Hot Stock, which is a premium stock photography um, membership. Um, so these are just some images that I grabbed from there, but you can go ahead and grab any images from a, a membership that you might be a part of. You could grab images from Canva. They've got free images in Canva. You can get free images from Unsplash. So go ahead, try and find as many images that you can to create a mood board such as this. And then you can go ahead and um, take out some of the colors that you find within this mood board so that you can perhaps use some of these colors within your Notion dashboard. So as you can see here, this vibe that we're getting here is very feminine. Um, so this is what style I'm going to be going with when I edit and customize the template. Okay, so now that we have our mood board, what we want to do is if we head on over to Notion, we can see that we've got this banner here. It's quite long and thin. Now, depending on what device you're on, what screen you're on, this is always going to um, expand and contract depending on what device it's on. So just keep that in mind. But what I have noticed, and I've had to play around with it, the best dimensions for a Notion header is actually 1500 by 500 pixels. Now I've gone ahead and opened up another Canva template and I've created those dimensions and I've actually taken some of the images from my um, mood board and I've put them into the uh, Canva template. Let me help head on over and open that one up for you. So here is an example of something that you can create. Now keep in mind that the focus will be in the middle and the center of this um, banner. Sometimes the top and bottom might be cut off. Sometimes the sides might be cut off. So if you are adding any text to the center here, just keep that in mind, okay? But this is really quite simple to achieve. Let me go ahead and share with you how you would do that. So go ahead and add a page. Let's delete the background color there. Go to elements. Let's go down to uh, grids. And what we want to do is find um, a grid that's separated into four sections. Here we go. So here we go. Just click that. And then it's um, entered this grid with four different sections. Now all we need to do is go ahead and um, drag in our images like I have up here. Now, if you were using Canva images, all you need to do is go to uh, Photos depending on what type of account you have, will determine what kind of um, images you can use here. But let's say if we're sticking to the theme of like a, a fashion student, I'm just gonna type in fashion here. And let's say we wanted to grab a couple of these images. These look pretty cool. So I'm going to grab this one, this one, this one, and maybe this one. Okay, so you can see that we've got quite the vibe going on. The style of this one and the, the vibe of this is completely different to this one here. So that's how easy it is to create a banner. So once you're happy with the banner um, and the way that that looks, all you need to do is go to the share button here, go to download. We wanna save this as a PNG, select the page that you would like. I'm gonna select page one and go done and go download. And that's gonna download it to our computer where we can then go ahead and upload it into our Notion dashboard. So let's go back to Notion. Let's go here to where it says change cover. Click on that. Now you've got a couple of different options here. You can go ahead and select a color. We also um, have some options for some different images from Unsplash or you can go to Unsplash here and search for an image that you would like. 
you can upload your own image, which we're going to do, or add a link. So let's go to upload, go to upload file, and this is where you can upload your image. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And that's going to load. But um, while that's loading, I'm just going to share with you. So you can see here the top and the bottom have been cut off. So if there is a specific part of an image that you want to be shown, make sure that you've um, actually made adjustments to that. So here, for example, you can see that that's cut off. So if you wanted the desk uh, to be into that image, you would just need to make adjustments in Canva. But as you can see already, we're starting to make transformations. Okay, so the next thing that I would work on changing are all the icons. So either icon colors or the icons completely. So where are the icons? Well, you can see them straight away. So we've got an icon here at the top of the page. We've got icons here for our index. We've got icons within the actual tables themselves. We've got icons here. So they're spread out throughout this template. What I would do is I would just go page by page and then just go ahead and edit every icon um, to a certain color or a certain theme or even upload your own Im um, image into the icon. So let's say I just wanted to change the color of this icon. All you need to do is click on the icon and icons is going to appear because that's what we've got selected. And here is where you can change the color. So I think we've got the brown. Yep, so we've got brown here, but you can change it to any color here. So let's say I wanted to choose pink. I think pink would probably go really well with the um, the vibe that I've got in my banner here. So let's go ahead and choose that color. So let's say I wanted that exact icon. I would just go ahead and find that icon and then boom, with one click, that's been updated. So if you wanted to do that for all of the icons here, all you need to do is just click on the icon, find that icon and change it. Here we go again and life vision. And you can see that this is changing just with a couple of clicks. You can see this starting to transform. To change the text color, all you need to do is highlight the text, click on the three buttons here, and then go to color, and then change the color here. So I'm gonna go pink, very cool. Daily routine, let's go ahead and change that. If you like, you can change this all to black, it's up to you. Um, but I think adding a bit of color gives it a little bit more um, excitement and um, makes this template stand out. So just go through the entire document. So here, let's change that. And savings plan, that's gonna open it up in a new page because it's a linked page, but that's okay. We can change it here. So there we go. So let's go back to life plan and copy. Scroll down, so now that's been changed. Again, same thing here. So we might need to jump into um, an actual page here to change it, but that's okay. Let's go journaling, click on here and go there. There we go, perfect. Let's change the text here. So like I mentioned, I would just go through all of this and then change up all of those, uh, the text and the icons to change up the colors of those. Now let's say that you feel that these images don't really represent your ideal customer. You can easily change these by clicking inside of the progress tracker photo. Here you're going to see a section where it says picture with a attachment icon. Go ahead and just hover over this section. See how that goes gray? Well what we want to do is when it goes gray click on that and it's going to let us um, edit this image. Go ahead and click the delete button button here and then go to the plus button and then here is where we can upload our image. So go ahead and choose a file or you can add an ed embed link. I'm just going to upload a file that's going to load into this page. Perfect. So all you need to do is just click out and that's going to save and then click out again and here we got our um, our progress tracker photo. You can reposition this if you like just by dragging. Now let's go ahead and change the after photo. Again, click on the gray area, delete, add file, choose a file. And now that's updated. Perfect. Again, you can reposition. Now, obviously your customer is going to change all of this. They may change the colors, the icons. They may change the text they're definitely going to want to change their progress photos because, you know, they're going to want photos of themselves in here. So when you are 
creating these images, really you just always want to be thinking about your ideal customer and who's going to be purchasing this template and that's how you want to be editing this template. Now back to the icons, I just want to share with you, you can actually also change these icons to um, either emojis or even upload your own image. So if we go ahead and click in this icon, for example, so at the moment it's filtered by all the icons that you can get. There's hundreds and hundreds of icons that you can choose here. But what happens if you wanted to perhaps put an emoji? Well, that's pretty easy. All you need to do is go to emoji and then you can type in planner here, for example. Oops, or plan. Let's see what comes up. So you could select, let's say, this calendar icon here and that'll change the icon within your dashboard. But what you can also do is upload your own images. Now, if you do want to upload your own images, um, again, just head on over to Canva. You want to create a template that's 280 pixels by 280 pixels. That's the ideal um, size for the icons here. And then you can create a custom icon. What could be fun is that you could perhaps create a whole range of different icons, like custom icons, that perhaps could be, you know, sent to your customer as a Canva template. And then that could be like a bonus that goes with your Notion template that customers can, you know, create their own icons if they like. That could be kind of cool. So I'm just going to head on over to uh, Canva now and I'm going to share with you how you could create your own custom icon. So here I have a 200 by 200, sorry, a 280 by 280 pixel template. Um, I've just imported, I've just added another page and imported all of the colors from my mood board here so that I have something to play with. But let's say I wanted to create mm, like a fun shape like, or an organic style shape. Um, like circle and then have like an icon within that. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to go to shapes here. Let's have a look and see what we can find. Uh, let's do something fun. Let's do something like this. Expand that all the way out like that. Let's change the color so that it matches one of our um, colors here. So the document colors are here. So let's go that. Very cool. And let's say I wanted a like an icon of a home. So that way that is the like the home page of the dashboard. So I'm going to go home. Let's see what comes up there. Nope. So we're gonna have to go to elements, go home icon. Very cool. Let's go that one. I've got a pro account, so I can use that. But if you don't have a pro account, you can find a free version. That's fine. I'm gonna go let's go that. That looks kind of cool. Actually, I might change this shape. I'm not too keen on that. Let's go something different. Maybe that. That's better. Center that. I just wanted to keep it so that we didn't have any round corners on the shape. Just to keep it consistent. Perfect. Okay, so if you're happy with that, all you need to do is go to the share button. Go download. You want a PNG image. If you can, select transparent background. Select page one and go done and then go download. That's going to save it to our computer. And then we can go on over to our dashboard, select the icon, go to custom, upload file, and then there is our icon updated. And then that will also update any of the pages associated or linked to this, uh, this page within your template. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now let's talk about widgets. So widgets are a fun way to add a little bit of interest and a little bit of customization to your template. For this example, you can see that we've got a clock template, which is giving us the time. So it's currently 1.24 on a Wednesday. Uh, yes, I have to get this tutorial done pretty quickly because I've got to go pick up Aria from Kindy in a minute. So this clock widget has actually been inserted from Indify, I think I believe. So to edit this widget, all you need to do is go to indify.co, I believe, and um, sign up for a free account. So let's go ahead and over to Indify now and I'm going to share with you how you can create a, um, a, a widget just like this one. We're going to change up the color of this one because as at the moment, it's not quite fitting with um, the rest of our template. So let's go to Indify.co. So here we are. I'm within my free account here on Indify. If you haven't got an account with Indify.co, just go ahead and sign up. It's completely for free. So let's go ahead and create a new widget. So let's go to add new widget. You have got all of the different widgets here. 
I'm going to go ahead and choose the clock widget. Let's go create widget. You're going to have to title it. So I'm going to go notion template and continue. And here is our clock template. So there's different options that you can choose here. You can choose 24 hours instead of the 12 hour. You can show the time indicators or you cannot show the time indicators. You can show the seconds text. Might get rid of that. Yeah, that's a bit better. And here is where you can change the color. So what I would do is I would go back to my Notion mood board template. So the Canva template that I created. Let's go back to that. Here with our colors, I'm going to select a color here within the template. So I'm going to go this color. I'm going to grab the hex code for that by selecting the toggle here and then copying this. So copy the hex code for that color. Let's go back to Indify. Here where it's got cock color light mode, let's go ahead and change that to that color. And then it's going to update it for us. And now we've got that color within our clock. So once you're happy with all the settings of this widget, all you need to do is go and copy the link here at the bottom. So hit this copy button and it's going to copy to your clipboard. Then we are going to go back to our template, our Notion template. We are going to uh, click here and we're going to go to the add button. And we're going to find a, a block called an embedded block. So let's scroll all the way down. It's towards the bottom here. And where is it? Here we go. So we've got embeds here. So let's go to embed. You want to paste in the link here and go to embed link. And that's going to update our little section here with our widget. Now, obviously, we're not going to need this one. So just click on the three dots here where it says more actions. Let's go to delete. And then here is our new widget ready to go. Now we can expand this out, I think, or there we go. Let's make that a bit better. There we go. Perfect. Looking fabulous. Okay. This color here is not quite right. So let's go ahead and change that just so it looks right. And go to the three dots again, color, and let's go pink. Fantastic. Looking pretty good. Now you can go ahead and add as many or as little widgets as you like. Adding widgets is a great way to customize your template. Let's say we wanted a weather widget in here. That might be a great addition to this uh, template. Just go back to Indify, go back to uh, the main dashboard of this account. So let's say we wanted to add a weather widget. Let's go to add new widget. Let's go create widget. So weather. So let's just go weather. Very good. Continue. And then here is a weather widget. So again, you can add all the different details that you want. So depending on the location of your ideal customer, you might want to change that up a bit, but that's fine. You can change the number of days that this widget has, um, some other different style options. Again, you can change up the colors. So let's say we wanted the text color to be the same as the pink color that we had in our mood board. Now see how that looks. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and copy that link. That's copied to our clipboard. Let's go back to Notion. Now let's go ahead and add in a widget just here. So let's go add. I'm going to go all the way down to where it says embed. Okay, embed. Paste that in. Embed the link. And by default, it's going to add it to this column here. So what we want to do is we actually want to expand that so it goes all the way across. So that way we can probably easily uh, read it a little bit more easily and it looks a bit better. So just go ahead and uh, these six little dots here, click and drag until we get it to just about here. See that blue line that appears? When you see that blue line, just unclick and then it's going to add it to the very bottom of this section. Let that load. And there we have our weather widget. That looks pretty cool. What do you reckon? Very good. Happy with that. So we are definitely starting to make some progress here. Okay. So from here, what you would want to do is you just want to go ahead and start editing and customizing every page within this document. So that way it looks just the way you like. It's styled just the way that your customer would really like to see it. And then when you are happy with this, it's ready to be sold as a template. Now, in order to sell the template, you actually need the shareable template link. Now, this link can be added to a PDF download document. That's how I sell all of my uh, templates, either on Etsy or my own online store. 
So let me share that whole entire process with you now. So to get the shareable template link, what you need to do is go to the share button. You want to go to the publish button and you want to go ahead and publish to web. Now, don't worry, this doesn't publish for everybody. Changing up the settings here is going to make sure that the only people that can actually access this are the people with the link. So we want to change and make sure that the link does not expire. So we want never on that. We want to um, disallow editing. So we don't want anyone to edit this template. We don't want comments, but we do want people to be able to duplicate this as a template. So make sure that that button is toggled on. We also want to make sure that the search engine indexing is turned off. When you're happy with those settings, all you need to do is go to copy web, web link. So go ahead and copy that link. And then this is the link that you will be selling to your customers. Essentially, that is the product. The link to this document is the product you'll be selling. So when you have that link, go ahead on over to Canva, create a, um, a thank you slash downloadable PDF document. And that is the actual document that you're going to be selling. I'm going to head on over to Canva now and I'm going to share with you an example of how I actually did this for the PLR Notion template. So let's go on over to Canva. So here is an example of the thank you download instructions for the um, PLR Notion template. So here I've just got a little thank you message and a little introduction to the the product. I've got some license terms. So this explains very clearly what they can and cannot do with this template. Down below that, I've got some detailed instructions on how the customer can access the template. So this is something you also want to consider imp implementing or including into your download instructions manual. Just below that, I have some additional information, um, probably not to worry about that. But the most important part of this document is the very last page here. This is the area where you're going to include the link or the button that will uh, transfer the customer over to the Notion template so that they can go ahead and duplicate it. So here I've just got download your template. I've got the label of the template here and then a button that says download template or probably I would probably put maybe access template here. Access template. Very good. Okay. So in order to add a link to this button all you need to do is click on this I've currently got a link activated so I'm going to just go ahead and delete that so click on the button go to the three dots go to link or you can use the command k uh, shortcut so go to link we want to add in the link there so this is the template link that we got from notion let's just head on over back to notion I'll show you that process again so you want to go to share publish copy web link so that's copied we're back here on the um, canva template and then here is where you want to add in the link uh, by default we're going to have an underline here for the text depending on how you like this to present this i like to present it without the underline so i'm just going to turn that off very good and then once you are happy with the pdf document all you need to do is share this or save it as a PDF document. So let's go to share. We want to go to download. We're gonna save this as a PDF and we want all the pages. So go to download and then that's gonna to download to our computer. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and open that up and make sure that it's working. Okay, so here is our PDF document. So we've got the first few pages here. Let's scroll all the way down to the very end. And here is our final page, Ultimate Life Planner Notion template. Let's go ahead and access that. So click on that and it's going to ask us if we would like to open this link. Go open in Google Chrome in my case. And then that's going to open up this Notion template. So a copy of this Notion template into your customer's Notion account. From here... Your customer can then go ahead and duplicate this template, which will then copy a copy, which will then copy a copy, which will then copy this template into their account, ready for them to use. So it's as simple as that. Okay. So when you've created that PDF document, you've made sure that that link works. All you need to do then is go ahead and upload that PDF document to your Etsy listing ready for you to sell. Okay.
Now, just one more thing that I wanted to mention. When you are selling these Notion templates on Etsy, you do want to make sure that you are presenting the Notion templates in its best light, okay? That's where using Canva template Etsy listing images um, comes in real handy. Now, with the PLR Notion template that I sell in the shop, it actually comes with a bonus 10 um, Etsy listing images. Let's, I'm just going to head on over to um, the Canva template. So these Etsy listing images, so you get an idea of what these look like and how you might be able to um, use them to sell your templates. So um, let me just open that up quickly. So here are the Etsy listing image templates that I created to go along with the Notion template. So these are a bonus that come with the Notion template. So um, here are 10 different ways that you can showcase the actual um, the Notion template that you want to sell. So all you would need to do is just have uh, take a couple of screenshots of the Notion template once you've edited it and customized it and then go ahead and insert them here into some of these frames. So that way you can just go ahead save this you know add in your text here um, add in your own branding and changing up the colors and fonts and then all you need to do is save all of these um, images and then upload them into your Etsy listing along with the PDF download document okay did you love deep diving into all things notion templates if this has sparked some curiosity for you perhaps you had never heard of notion before and now it's just sparked this curiosity in your mind you're interested to learn more and perhaps you want to go ahead and start selling even more of these Notion templates and Notion dashboards in your own Etsy shop, then I would highly recommend checking out my good friend's course, Michelle Watson. She has a fabulous course specifically for beginners, teaching people how to take literally a blank template and then go ahead and create something amazing that they can sell on Etsy. Well, I highly recommend checking out her course. It's called Create Digital Templates with Notion. It honestly is the best next step if you want to go ahead and start creating these from scratch. As you can see in this video, I'm sharing with you a template that I have, but there's something to be said about going ahead and starting with a blank screen and then taking that blank screen and then creating something magnificent to sell on Etsy. And um, this course will help you do that. So I highly recommend it. Go ahead and check out the link in the description box below and it will send you over to the sales page for that course. Okay, so wrapping up, just think about the possibilities. Editing and selling Notion templates, this is just the beginning and it's more than just a side hustle. This is a genuine chance to create, innovate and earn from your creations. So why wait, go ahead, dive on into this opportunity, especially now while it's still hot. And I cannot wait to see your Notion templates up on Etsy. And hey, if you're looking for more PLR templates or the exact one that I use today, you know where to find them, right over in my own online store. And if you have any questions or maybe some template success stories, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in my friend. I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye for now.